specific concern about this expanding influence of Russia in the West Balkans? I wouldn't say it's, I, and I wouldn't necessarily say it's expanding. What's, what's expanding is the Kremlin's ambition to um, cause confusion about the orientation of these countries and the, the process of continued reform and Euro-Atlantic alignment um, that the people of these countries have chosen. Um, and so we see Greece as a very powerful, positive influence in the neighborhood. And as we said, as Vice President Pence said, we see Greece as a pillar of stability in a complicated region that applies to the Western Balkans, it applies to the Eastern Mediterranean, and it applies to uh, the regions of the Maghreb and North Africa. And I think that's, for me, that's the most interesting thing about working on Greece and U.S.-Greece relations today, is the way in which this country is re-establishing its role as a geopolitical hinge between Europe and the wider neighborhood, and doing so as a powerful NATO ally of the United States. Let me ask you this. Um, we, we understand that there is a heightened concern uh, about Russian e economic influence in Greece uh, from your side. Is this the case? I would put it this way. Um, we believe that Greek economic growth benefits from all of the attributes that we associate with membership in the European Union. Mm -hmm. uh, strong regulatory oversight, um, a high degree of transparency. Um, some Russian investments don't bring those characteristics. And it's... You mean the Thessaloniki port. You, you, you've made... I've made the point Twice, about, I think. I've made the point about... concerning this uh, privatization. Which is a particularly important example. Um, Can but, you elaborate this? What do you mean by this? Well, I mean, let, I would make two points. One is um, clearly one of the most important challenges for Greece today as the country emerges from eight difficult years of economic crisis is how best to attract foreign investment because that is what is going to drive economic growth. And I have seen enough you know, in my year and a half in this country to be enormously optimistic about long-term prospects for the Greek economy because there is so much inherent value in its natural resources, in its human resources, in its geographic position. Um, so the question is, how do you unlock that potential? You do it with foreign investment. Um, and then the question arises, what kind of investment? And you, know, you have a significant Chinese role in Greece today, which didn't exist a decade ago. And you know, by and large, when I talk to Greek business people, um, they have been encouraged by the way in which Piraeus has unfolded and the way in which Costco has managed itself there. Um, and, you know, in a free and open economy, the strongest party should win. That's obvious. Um, but what is important, I think, for Greece, and certainly important for my government, is to preserve those aspects of transparency, um, openness, um, that drive economic growth and build confidence among foreign investors. Um, I've made the point about Thessaloniki um, that people have raised questions about who are the funders involved. I mean, there was this one Russian bank. I've heard stories that there was difficulty acquiring um, credit uh, from a European bank. Um, it's not quite clear who the partners are, in particular the German company. And I contrast that with things like Fraport. So, for instance, you know, you look at the Fraport, uh, the Fraport role in Greece today. It's been very positive. I was, you know, watching yesterday in Thessaloniki the upgrade and modernization of the runway that's taking place at, yes. at, the, at, that, at that airport, which will allow Thessaloniki to handle larger mm -hmm. aircraft, which will be good for the economy, good for growth. Nobody can answer the questions that I've put on the table or that I have in my mind about exactly how this Thessaloniki so you're, privatization you're is supposed to work. So you're implying that the money is not clean. That's what you're implying. And let me add this. 
Um, there are those who, reading between the lines, recognized um, Mr. Savides behind your words. Uh, are you ready to, to name him? No. I'm not, you know, I, again, I think it's a question, I'm, this is not about personalities. It's not about individuals. It's about principles and how best to reinforce um, the principles of European standards, European rules that have served Greece and have served investment well. Um, and making sure that there is not any kind of a step backward from that, um, uh, from those standards as a result of the economic distress that Greece has experienced over the past decade. Why, why should this matter be of American concern? Somebody would ask. Greece is a member state of the EU and uh, its authorities have given the green light. So there are supervision institutions that this uh, privatization is okay. So many, you know, translate your statement as a, uh, in, an interference in interior affairs. No, not at all. And I, and I think I would say two things. One, um, I will have great confidence if all of the European regulatory hurdles are fully satisfied as this process moves ahead. And it's important that that be the case. Um, again, it's not about personalities. Um, it's, about, um, it's about principles. The American interest is a, a strategic one. Um, you know, we, when, I, when I got here a year and a half ago, and I remember on one of my first visits to the north, to Thessaloniki, um, I had some very senior political personalities ask me, where are the Americans? How come we don't see you anymore? And I worked hard over my tenure with the, with the very strong support of the embassy team and the Washington team to try to change that. Um, we're very engaged on the energy issues. And I should emphasize our, our interest in the energy picture in northern Greece is not commercially driven, it's strategically driven. Someone, you know, could um, associate your reaction to the privatization of Thessaloniki port with uh, the American energy interests in, in the area, as you describe them. Not so much. Our concern about Thessaloniki has to do with transparency, has to do with certainty about the ownership, the origin of the, of the capital, and then ensuring that the investment delivers. And you know, Thessaloniki port, especially because of the success of Piraeus, and I, you know, the, we have to understand these as two complementary undertakings. Piraeus is growing very fast in terms of the volume of throughput, in terms of the capital that Costco has committed to uh, the further expansion of that facility, the integration with the rail lines, all the rest of it. And their very ambitious vision to develop Piraeus as a competitor to Hamburg. I mean, they're, they're now talking about this as one of the most important European um, entrepots. Thessaloniki is a little different because Thessaloniki goes to this vision which I talked about as the, in the economic hinterland stretching up through the north to Odessa and, uh, and, and to Venice. So I think finding, finding ways to make sure that that investment delivers um, and that it's connected to this wider vision of regional integration and regional cooperation is strategically important. Mm -hmm. Now, Ambassador, let's uh, swift to Greek-Turkish relations. An uh, easy topic. Yes, <laughs> easier than this. Um, a few weeks ago, the Turkish uh, president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, visited Athens. And um, in this way, uh, there, there, there was the, the spotlight, you know, uh, sh shedded the tensions between the two neighbors. Uh, are you worried about the deterioration of Greek-Turkish relations as a result of this visit? No, I'm, I'm encouraged by the visit. I'm encouraged by the, um, the political energy that the prime minister and his team invested in the visit. But what was perhaps most interesting to me was the people-to-people -people reaction. You know, it was really what do you mean? Uh, well. You know, on the day when President Erdogan was was here um, in Athens, I was outside my embassy, and as the motorcade was coming down Vasilis Sophias, all of our embassy employees, the Greek embassy employees, 
were out and they were watching it and they had their phones out and they were filming it. And I think, you know, part was the spectacle because you had the helicopters and the sirens and everything else. But it was also a genuinely historic occasion. I think, you know, it reflects the fact that this is a very important relationship for Greece. It has been historically. Turkey is a geopolitical reality. There are lots of things that Greece can change, but one thing that Greece can't change is its geography. So your biggest neighbor is always going to be Turkey. And I think the prime minister has correctly diagnosed the importance for Greece of getting that relationship right. And this was, this was drawn out for me when he was in Washington in October. And if you remember the press conference in the Rose Garden, there was one of your American colleagues, an American journalist, who asked Prime Minister Tsipras um, something along the lines of, Prime Minister, you know, do you believe that Turkey is a democracy and should it be part of NATO? And um, I was very impressed by the way the Prime Minister answered that question, because the point he made was that Turkey is an inevitability for Greek foreign policy and foreign relations. So Greece needs to reach out. And, and I think, and here I'll finish up, um, one powerful asset that Greece enjoys in its relationship with Turkey is the soft power of the people-to-people -people relationship. When I traveled last summer to Chios, to Lesbos, to Rodos, you, know, you visit any of the eastern islands, every restaurant menu is in Turkish. And you look out in the, the yacht marinas, and every boat, the biggest boats, all have Turkish flags. Yes, people live together in, this, uh, and, in these areas. This and, they're, is true. and they're comfortable with Greece. But they see on Greece the other hand, Turkey. there is politics, yes. uh, Ambassador. Turkey continues making claims. Uh,